Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Well, it's been about a week since we first learned about another flu virus that's making its way here to the state of Iowa and some precautions that were uh, put into place over at our very own Blank Park Zoo. So we thought it'd be a great time to talk to the Blank Park Zoo veterinarian, Dr. Drew Gall, to find out all about what is happening with all the birds at the zoo, what's happening with this flu virus that is going around. Dr. Drew, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course, Lou. Thanks for having me. All right, let's first of all, let's first talk. What is this? What is this influenza? What's it called? Sure. So avian influenza is a disease that is most prevalent in wild birds. Um, what's specific about this disease in particular is kind of the, what's called the high pathogenic versus low pathogenic. Um, so the high pathogenic strain is just a little bit worse off for some of these birds, um, and it tends to um, unfortunately be a little bit more fatal. Really, what happens to the birds when they, when they pick up this virus? Sure, so um, it's most prevalent in waterfowl, so ducks and geese, um, and sometimes they succumb to it, sometimes they're just carriers. Uh, it's more prevalent uh, to become fatal in um, other domestic species of avians, and their clinical signs can kind of be a slew of things. So it can be generalized lethargy. They can have kind of respiratory signs, uh, decreased egg production, um, as well as maybe some loose stools as well. So it's kind of a, a, a lot of clinical signs that uh, this disease can cause. Now, we first heard about this, uh, you know, infecting uh, what a chicken over in Iowa, and then we heard the turkey farm uh, that was infected. And there are a lot of precautions that were put in place uh, over at the Blank Park Zoo. As soon as there was a case in the state of Iowa, what did you guys do at the zoo? Sure, yeah. Um, obviously, our number one priority here at the zoo is to protect the birds that we have uh, here within our collection. So. Uh, part of the process that we went through was kind of limiting access that some of these birds can have to wild birds. Um, so part of that was taking those birds that we felt like were high susceptibility um, or, or most likely to contract the disease if they came into contact with it and kind of move them into spaces where they would have limited access to uh, wild birds. Um, we also kind of increased our, our biosecurity and disinfection. Um, so we've requested uh, staff here at the zoo to kind of have separate shoes that, that don't go out um, specifically into other areas uh, of, of Iowa. Um, so to try and help decrease the transmission of this virus if they do end up picking it up. Um, other things we've done is kind of prioritize some of the, the tires that interact with uh, some of the keepers boots or things that again can be uh, tracked into some of these areas with these birds. Yeah, so you are really uh, looking above and beyond everything that is going on to even get anything uh, close to what the virus is close to the animals at the zoo. And speaking of animals, you said the birds are being isolated and being protected. Is this a virus that can jump from birds to something else? Uh, yes, it is. At this time, uh, the concerns for that aren't very high, um, but obviously, like any virus, which is what avian influenza is, has the potential to mutate and to jump species. So I know um, that is one thing that officials are constantly monitoring, uh, but at this time, I don't think the concern is very high yet. All right, so how long will the birds uh, be what they call off display or off uh, from the public being able to see them at the zoo? Yeah, so we haven't necessarily outlined a specific time frame yet. Um, we are daily uh, monitoring where cases are at, if new cases pop up, um, and we'll continue to evaluate geographically where those locations are in, uh, in close proximity to the zoo or where they're at. And then from there, kind of do a risk assessment of when we think uh, that would be a good time to kind of 
uh, retrace or retract some of our protocols that we put in place and allow birds to go back out. All right, so just be aware there are certain areas of the zoo that are off limits now that might have bird populations in them just for the safety of the animals. And I think everybody uh, can relate to that. And we thank you for everything you're doing to protect the animals at our Blank Park Zoo. Dr. Drew Gall, a veterinarian at the Blank Park Zoo, thank you so much for the information on the highly pathogenic avian influenza and what we're doing to keep our animals safe and keep everybody safe. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, there you go. We will talk to him again. So there you have it. You're caught up on what's happening with the bird flu here in the state of Iowa. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Iowa Live.